this is where uh, people must go. Religious people have to go. Our paths uh, are crossed too much. We're too uh, in close proximity to one another that we can't continue to act like the other doesn't exist or uh, give a superficial uh, uh, a nod or, or relationship towards people of other faith. So the message that I've been uh, presenting to Muslims is that when you look at the Quran, the uh, Quran is, you know, sometimes Muslims think that uh, uh, this idea that, uh, that sometimes some Muslims get this idea that only Muslims are going to be saved. But when you look at the Quran, it says any who believe in God and the last day and does good will get to paradise. But the other point that uh, a lot of Muslims miss in, from the Quranic standpoint is that the word Muslim is, is a generic uh, term, a generic idea and concept. And when you study the Quran, it says that uh, Abraham and his followers were Muslim. It says uh, Jonah and his followers were Muslim. Noah and his followers were Muslim. Christ Jesus and his followers were Muslim. Muslim means simply one who submits and renders, surrenders to the will of God. And, and so Muslim, this term Muslim comes before Prophet Muhammad, prayers and peace be upon all of them and, and upon Muhammad the prophet. But this term Muslim comes before him. And so when we say uh, that the paradise, when it said paradise is for the Muslim, it means paradise is for those who submit and surrender their will to the will of God. All of us are going to submit our wills. It's just a matter that God gives us this life to, to make a choice, to decide whether we're going to surrender or not. But whether we surrender or not, we all must respond to the law of God. None of us is going to live forever. And though some may doubt that there's a judgment, the fact of the matter is nobody doubts death. Everybody knows that you must walk through that, you come to that door of death, and you must uh, either enter it or, as, as I say, walk through the door of death. But death is a reality. And as a believer, we think that on the other side of death is a judgment that comes. Uh, and, and so that's not really technically in our hands. What's in our hands is what we do with this life while we're here. So the idea is that Muslim is one who submits and surrenders to the will of God to do good uh, while they're here and to, and, and to uh, uh, give to others as we would want to, to receive ourselves. 